back to Lego Access. Today we are going to be showcasing some more Lego sets in my vlog and it's a bit more of an update of my collection that I'm trying to display. So let's get into the Lego vlog. Right, so an update on all of my Lego today. Basically, firstly we have got one of the oldest Dumbledore's office now. This thing actually opens up here if you take this out we get to open up into a really, really cool Dumbledore's office. Now, it's a little bit dusty. I'm trying to clean up all of these Lego things. But you get unique books that, are in, that haven't even been redone since the 2002 era. You get different kinds of fires from the ones that you would normally get. Obviously, I don't actually have the characters here. They are in a crate and I will be getting them all mixed back up to their set soon. But you've got Dumbledore's office. A little bit dusty. I'm very sorry about that. But you've got his, obviously, frame room. You've got his table and chairs. Thing is, with this Dumbledore's office, doesn't have a Gryffindor sword, doesn't have the other stuff, and you've obviously got a moving bookshelf behind here that, if I turn, has a key to one of Dumbledore's Gringotts banks, apparently, and then some more like cool stuff here. Personally, for me, this is the biggest and coolest Dumbledore's Hogwarts, just because it's so old and so good, it's just really good. Over here, we have the Sorting Hats that I showed you in a previous video. The, that's the oldest ever Lego set, and that's the newest Lego set currently. But I've decided to display some, not all, I've got quite a lot more Harry Potters here. We've got Harry from the Lego Dimensions era. We've got Harry just from the 2010 Hogwarts. That's from the 2010 Quidditch set. This one's from the newer sets when he was with the Aragal Glare. This one's from around a 2002 set at Hogwarts. This one's obviously from the newer Hogwarts. This one I think is from Aragorg's in the 2002 set, or it might be from the Flying Car set, although I do not have the old Privet Drive. This is Harry from Diagon Alley. More Harrys from the early Hogwarts, as you can see here. Clear difference. One's got a Gryffindor badge. One does not have a Gryffindor badge. This is the one that comes with the sorting set because he has not been sorted yet. That's the new one that we showed in the last one. He came with the new sorting hat. You've got Harry and his invisibility cloak. That looks really, really cool. And the, an exclusive Harry that I was really lucky to get that came with a book that was really, really cool. This is him when he's going to his hearing in the fifth book. And then we've got, uh, that's from the fourth Harry Potter set when they got faces, but they still resembled the yellow ones. And then you've got just a, I think this is from the Shrieking Shack. And that is really, really cool. But the next thing I really, really wanted to show you is literally my, one of my favorite new sets of all time. We have got quite an amazing Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them set. Now, it's a bit broken up and a bit... Well, it's not actually broken up at all, actually. I've rebuilt quite a lot of it. But we've got the Niffler chilling there with his golden stand. You've got the teapot, where obviously that creature goes into because it can shrink really large depending on the space that they can get in. You've got the bow truckles, and the bow truckles here, they haven't actually put a face on it, and maybe they will in future sets, but it's still quite nice to get a bow truckle thing here. You've got an egg of the new things here. You've got a tap. This is obviously Newt's Commander's home, and you can see like stuff here, and it's a really, really cool set to have and to use, because I personally think it's one of my favorite all-time sets. That's what he uses when the ball comes charging at him. Obviously, there are more creatures that come with this set, that I'm not displaying quite now. And if you do this, it opens up into a bigger set so you can make it into a bigger set. A really, really good and a really, really cool set. Moving on to another Harry Potter Dumbledore's office. We have got this. Now, first things first, that is a really, really good sorting hat. But it is a bit dusty, sorry about that. But if we compare it to this sorting hat, this sorting hat here actually has the face mask in it. This sorting hat here has it painted on top of it. Which one do I like more? They're both really, really good. This one you can see it more better, but that one's more realistic. I really like this. And look here, this is the Gryffindor sword. In my clock tower video, they had a Gryffindor sword that wasn't shiny enough to be the Gryffindor sword that I don't like. This is definitely one of my favorite interior designs of the Dumbledore's office. Now, obviously, I think we've learned from this, uh, this vlog that there is definitely some dust to clear up and that destroys Lego sets. But some, a book that shouldn't actually be here, we have got one of the original Monsters Books of Monsters. That is coming out in the new Lego Harry Potter set um, character sets in the new one that I will be showing when I get all those characters. But make sure to check, go check out that video if you have not seen that already. You've got some of the old professors. You've got James Potter the Seeker. This is just a really, really cool amazing set that I personally really like and from the front you can just see how cool it is 2010 Hogwarts is probably one of my favorite Hogwarts if not my favorite one 
just because it's just so massive. Now, onto a set that I showed you, I would I would show you uh, quite a while ago. We have got the Tower of Orphans. So starting from the top, this is where the Falcons come and rescue Gander from as he's trapped at the top. You have got some Orcs just showcasing their their armory and what they're doing and working for Saruman. You've got some books and some of the, that's the eye. And you, there you've got the, some of the books and these are the wizards. Obviously Saruman was a good wizard for so many years, but he fell to the might of Saruman. I just thought that you guys would want to see a little bit different. Well, this is where he conduct, conducts his potions and making stuff. And here is where he speaks to the Saruman and it turns red. Now this is a bit old, a bit, Obviously 2010. This is now almost 300 pounds. There's Saruman there being very good. There's an orc there. And there's a trap door here that leads to the forest of stuff down here with all the wolves. Now these are just some really, really great sets. So this is what I'm trying to get done in these Lego unboxings and Lego sorting out. Personally, I'm just trying to fill it up. Obviously, where I've been showcasing you last time on my shelves, there's not enough room for such two towers like this as you've seen it has a break up leg in Ninjago City. But anyway, back to Lego Axis in the future.